Hello literature lovers today as you can see i am discussing the most famous work by samuel johnson also called dr johnson that is his famous dictionary not talking about the biography of his and talking about the author himself born in 18 september 1709 and the bird plays is england died in 1784 and the best known work is dictionary of english language published 1755 now talking about his early life he entered oxford but forced to leave after a year for lack of funds and he sustained himself as a bookseller and a schoolmaster He married to Elizabeth Porter, a widow, and who was twenty years senior to him, and remained devoted to her until her death in seventeen fifty-two. Then he settled in London and began his early career in earnest. Edward Cave's Gentleman's Magazine. He started publishing his works. His very famous work, London. This poem was published unanimously and praised by Pope and few other works. My personal favorite is Vanity of Human Wishes, so I hope you will also like it. Now comes the most legendary work that is Dictionary of English Language, and it really comprehended the one of the best works in lexicography, and took it. on the first although restless uh, a moral romance is also quite famous and i personally also adore it and there are other works also uh, especially lives of the poet really is one of the milestones which portrayed clearly how great this work is now the most important work should be discussed here that is a dictionary of english language and talking about the specifications is 42773 words and 114000 quadrants so the planning was there and the compiling of the dictionary was fixed that it is to be about that duration and so he started it the planning in 1747 and some of the features that really marked the excellence are here and the senses talking about the primitive significances in the metaphorical sense all are provided these are the features which i have said and the first lexico lexicographer to introduce quotations from modern authors including shakespeare milton dryden are all presented here and also don't to forget latin and greek languages citations are included and this is really i can you can also understand that really marked how great this work was and these are some of the versions that some of the specification as mentioned here that proved the point all the criticism was there and talking about the limitations of it and using different etymology that not may be appropriate according to it and is also given but still it marked how great this work is i hope you must have got an overall picture how that it is portrayed thanks for being part of it thank you very much